Welcome to Mbox Extreme. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update to the newest version of Libre Elect, Cody Krypton. Um, you'll be notified by update when there is a new update available. Usually, the update will come up when you reboot your box. Or for the G-Box Q and M-Box Q, you pull the power plug and power back in because the power off option on those two boxes are actually suspend mode. Uh, for the silver box, the new ZoomTech T8H, uh, you power your box off and power back on, you'll be notified by update. Um, I'm sure you received the newsletter by now that I do have a new update available. And the first thing you're going to need to do is, since this is a new version of Kodi, uh, my original custom build will not work on this, so I had to build a brand new build just for this version. And you're going to need to actually wipe the box clean from with the hard reset to factory settings, install the new update, and then the custom build update. All right, so first thing you'll need, if you get the newsletter and your box is already on, the simplest way to know that there's an update available is to actually go to system and then go to internet setup. And then just scroll over to where it says checks, check for updates now. And when you click on that, you're going to get a pop-up just like here where it says your current version and the latest version, which will be 8.02 or 8.01. Um, you don't want to update that with this current build on. You have to do it with a clean install. So I'm just going to say, choose no. So now that you know that there's an update, first thing you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says reset Libre Elect to defaults. Now this update is only for the single boot box. Um, for dual boot boxes that run on both Android and Linux, um, I'm waiting for the firmware to be developed. And once I receive that, I will let uh, you guys know that there is an update available. All right, so first thing I do is a hard reset. Reset Libre Elect to default. So when you choose that, it'll ask you, are you sure? And just select yes. It'll do a 30 second countdown. I'll just let the video play out. I won't pause it just so you have a general idea how long this takes. Now it's going to want to, uh, it's going to reboot. You see it's Cody Jarvis. And now we're back to the welcome screen for Libre Elect. Um, a couple other things. Uh, the G-Box Q and the MSQ, there's some of you who already have the Cody um, Krypton already installed and you're using my temporary build for Krypton. Uh, you won't need to do this. You'll just need to install the full build since you already have the update, since some boxes actually automatically updated before and the build wasn't ready. So I just made that temporary for you guys. All right, so we're at the welcome screen. You just want to click next. Let's keep going. All right. So now you want to connect to the internet. So go to Libre Elect. Go to your network. Put your password in. Time. There we go. All right. So once I put the password in, I'm get to the internet and it automatically let me know that there's an update available. So what you want to do is go back into the Libre Elect, scroll over, and then do check 
Click check for updates now. All right, so now it's letting me know what version I'm on and my the next current version that's available. And I just hit yes. Depending if you're connected to 5G or 2.4, which the silver box, or actually all three boxes connect to 5G, um, but the silver box, the new box, actually has AC Wi-Fi, which gets the fastest download speeds uh, there is out of all three boxes. So depending how fast your download speed is, it will determine how fast this installs. I'm actually connected to 2.4, so if I was connected to 5.G, uh, this would probably be finished by now. So I'll just let it run through. The reason I'm not connected to 5G is this particular box I'm on has a hardware problem with the 5G, so I'm using 2.4. So it says download complete. Box will reboot. And then it will start installing all the software. Once that's done, it'll reboot again. All right, so there we are. Now we're in a new version. I'll show you. Uh, Cody, I'll go to about. All right, so that's how you install the new version. Um, if you have any questions, just um, you can email me at mboxextreme at gmail.com or you can go to mboxextreme.com and contact us through our uh, contact page. Uh, the next video will be for installing the latest custom build update. All right, thank you.